Hey Digi fans, welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to hero using Adobe Spark page. Now in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Adobe Spark page to build your very own art portfolio. I hear lots of you are doing sketches and paintings and drawings and all sorts of different pieces of art. And so you need a place where you can bring them all together and show them off to your friends, your family, who knows, even the whole world. So this tutorial is how to do that using Adobe Spark page. Now, as always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, download the Adobe Spark apps individually. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to Spark adobe.com let's go straight to the tutorial on how to build an art portfolio using adobe spark page enjoy let's get going first of all we're going to open up a spark page here we go boom i'm there now as always whenever you want to start something you're going to press this plus button here perfect we get through to our first screen now uh, this is going to be called My uh, Art Diary. Okay, now you might be doing something like, for example, uh, hashtag draw with Rob. Uh, Rob Biddulf, as I've mentioned, is a big artist who has been doing some daily uh, drawing tutorials, which are brilliant, and I think you should get check them out. So um, let's have a look. I'm going to go for find free images and I'm going to search for, let's say art. Let's see what we've got. Okay, ooh, I like that one. That looks pretty cool. Because that leaves it open to me using all sorts of different types of paint and um, you know anything that I can get my hands on. So scroll to start writing your story. As normal, the options come up here. I'm going to give a little bit of an intro. Uh, I'm going to use the dictation tool just because it's quicker. Every day, comma, I will be drawing something new with help from the famous artist Rob Biddulph. Full stop. Every day, he gives us a new tutorial of something cool which we need to draw, full stop. I'm finding it a little bit challenging, but really exciting, full stop. Okay, cool. Now you'll see I've got every day twice. Um, so I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna say, Instead of that, I'm going to put uh, welcome to my art diary, full stop. I'll be drawing something new that helps with the famous artist, Rob Biddulph. Okay, perfect. Now, if I uh, want to add something else in here, I'm going to go to split layout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to every day, I'm going to have my artwork on one side, and then I'm going to have a little description on the other side so add your image now i'm going to go back here because i don't want to um, find free images i actually want one that's on my ipad okay so I'll go to all photos here now this is the first one that i did pretty cool huh i like it too now one of the things i can do to make sure i've got everything in the picture i can change the focal point okay so if i drag the focal point over that side Oh, I've gone the other way, I've gone the opposite way. So actually I need to do the focal point over this side. Oh, too far. Right, let's bring it back towards there. I just want to make sure that I'm getting all of the, uh, the kind of detail in the side there. That's not bad, I don't mind that. Okay, now on here, I'm going to put, my first one is going to be day one. Okay, I'm going to make that into a header. I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to add some text down here. Okay, text. Okay. 
okay. Like that. Maybe I'll change that to H2, make it a bit bigger. Okay, nice. So we've got my art diary, draw with Rob. A little bit of an explanation here. Day one. And all you have to do now is every time you do a new one, you can do another split layout. You'll see that the image was on the left on this side. And then on the next one, it's put it on the right automatically for us. And I've got one here. I actually found this one on Twitter. I think it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, but I didn't have time to draw my own. Uh, I'm sure you will. But uh, so text here, I'm going to do H1 because I want it to be heading. And I'm going to say day, ooh, day, ooh, day two. Okay. Oh, I should center this one as well. Uh, and then I'm going to write something else here. Okay, and actually what I'm going to do on here, I'm just going to credit the person who made this one and they are called, you can find them on Twitter and they're called Dig, no, no, Div Zero underscore, uh, where are we, where's underscore, there we go. I'll center this one. Okay, cool. Uh, make that into H2. Nice. Okay. And this is what you can do just every single day that you do a different, um, a different kind of drawing. <laughs> Forgot what I was even trying to say there. Every time you do a different drawing, you just put in a different one. So you can have day one, day two, you can have day three, and you just keep on going and going and going and going. And I think that's really nice, very, very simple. You could also put in a photo grid of all, of all your attempts that you'd made. That would be very easy to do. You could also add in a little video of you actually drawing if you wanted to, and you could you know, upload that to YouTube or Vimeo or even Spark Video. That would be a really easy way to do that. Okay, and cancel that. Okay, hope that was useful. As always, if you want to share it, you can create a link. You can turn off this uh, get notice thing if you want, if you wanted to make it an unlisted link, that's absolutely fine. You can share it to Facebook or Twitter or email it to somebody. And by creating an unlisted link, it just means that you can send it out to all your friends and your family and you know that it's not gonna be viewed anywhere else. It's being copied to my clipboard, done. If I ever wanna find that link again, I can go back to my art diary Press the three buttons, press share, and I can just copy the link. I hope that was useful, Digi fans. As always, I really want to see your work, so please do share it with me using the hashtag DigiDom or find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer. As always, if you want to get these videos as soon as they come out, subscribe. That's the only way to do it. And I will see you probably in the next video. Take it easy. Oh, mm -hmm.